Hi, Eric Gibo, EricGibo.com, and today I'm going to present you this, the Olympus XA. What's in there? We see it now. Let's start. So in there, we'll do the official unboxing just after to show I put a film in there, but here's the, the, the camera. You also have a small uh, flash unit that can actually take out if you want. Okay. I will pass you some picture I've made with a Kodak uh, color. Uh, it's called uh, 200 ASA, I think, something like this when I tested it. So I put some pictures so you have an idea. This is a rangefinder camera. You switch it on and open, see the lens like this, like this. Okay, let's switch it on. It's a rangefinder. Here you have the viewfinder and here you have a small window where the, the, the image comes in there and then when you move this you click in there okay and then you have to have uh, the both picture that must match and this way you know it's in focus the lens is a 35 millimeter lens 2.8 aperture uh, this is a, an aperture priority it means the camera calculates the speed itself but you can actually uh, you can actually fool it because uh, you can still change the ASA, well the ISO, same thing, uh, at that time it was ASA of the film, the film speed, so this way uh, you can fool the camera if you, uh, for example, well, well, if for example you want to go it uh, twice as fast, uh, if you were, you have a film of 100 ASA in there, you put it on, 400, uh, on 200 and then it thinks there is twice the amount of light coming in, so it puts, it pull, uh, then it pushes uh, the speed twice uh, or the other way around if you want. You're on 400 AS, uh, ASA and you want it on, to go uh, four times less speed, but you go down to 100 and uh, it will drop the speed uh, uh, by four uh, as well. Okay, so I'm going now to show you the first uh, a close up on how you put the film and things like this. So let's open the box. You press here when it says push, here you see the sustain because there was a sticker there. I take it out. And here is the Olympus XA with its flash. So you hear the flash, you can actually remove it. It's an optional flash. And if you get it out, it's even smaller. Here below, I've got the, uh, the manual, how to put what battery goes in, how to put the film in there. But I'm going to show you how to put a film in there. So, okay, let's take the box out. So to put a film in there, you just push this, pull this, sorry, okay, I pull, and this open the box, the, the back, okay. So here, as you see, the cartridge will go there, here, the film, the film spool is here, the lens, and here you have a, a plate that presses on the film. So I get my film out, okay, I put it in, and I get some film out, and there's, there's a slot here. I get in there the small picks here I put I press it properly uh, when I see it pulls already okay I can really press this down close here and then I can go up to one make first picture okay and make a picture to make a picture you must open this see how I make a picture when you've finished what you need to do is uh, to take the film out, you must press this small button here. It's like a clutch. You click here. Then you must roll the film. I don't do it completely because otherwise my it will be completely in the in the cartridge. I, I cannot. Uh, then it will be impossible for me to use it. I will have to open it and fix it. So then it's here. Then I push. I pull. Sorry. This open the door. And here's my film. In your case, uh, the film will be completely in the cartridge, obviously. And you take it out, and then you can go for, for revealing it. That's it, that's simple. So, let's go for the visit. You have with the flash on, but you don't have to, to leave it together. You can, you can don't, if you don't want to use the flash, then you have a really small uh, camera unit. And so here, uh, on the side here, you have the aperture from 22 up to 2.8. If you push up to blue, it opens, it switch on the flash, 
the flash drive no battery now but if I if I had batteries in there this become red when it's ready here on the flash I can decide the power I want I've got uh, if I put 100 ASA full power or 400 ASA and here it tells me that uh, at uh, 100 ASA uh, it goes up to 2.8 meter at 400 it goes up to uh, 5.6 meter I leave it on here and the flash is synchronized and uh, it calculates itself so uh, here on the front I've got the uh, ASA the ISO I tell what I have won for my for my uh, for my the, the, the film I've put in there okay so from 25 up to 800 ISO well ASA and here I move this this is uh, because this is a view uh, a range finder if I move it, this, I can focus because here you have the viewer, but here there's small windows, and I have to get the small two picture together. I've got the two picture together when I, I look in there. Also, if I'm here, I have a distance scale in meter from 25 from 85 centimeter up to uh, well, infinite. Uh, so I've got uh, 1.5 uh, 085 1 meter 1.53. You see the 3 is in orange and here 5.6 is also in orange if I put this like this this is the hyperfocal of the camera at uh, 3 meters so everything from 3 meter up to uh, the, the end infinite uh, it's uh, in focus so this is very easy to use something else that is interesting here you have a small uh, lever if I put it on 1.5 it will compensate. I'm doing a backlit picture or with a picture with snow and uh, I want a need to overexpose then I put on 1.5. This is to check the battery is fine and this is a self timer. It also works as a small uh, small foot to stand a small stand. So if I want to make a picture now you see 10 seconds you have the light here it will make the picture in 10 seconds. So this is a really complete camera, this is a great little camera. Well, so uh, in this uh, camera, uh, you have, when you look at it, here there's a small needle on the left, well, on the left like this, and it goes, you see, from, uh, it's written from one second to uh, 500 of a second. And uh, when it goes over 500, that's on small stripes, if you get that, it means it's going to be overexposed, so it tells you you should close uh, the, the aperture. If you're going to one thirtieth of a second, it's recommended or to open more your, your aperture or to put uh, this on a stand, uh, tripod or whatever. It's very easy to use. I think this is the ideal camera for people who are starting with a film, ca film camera because they're a bit afraid to have everything, um, everything, uh, everything manual. So this is a uh, aperture priority. Some people say, yeah, but aperture priority is not for pro. I will say that Sebastian Salgao, the very famous uh, Brazilian uh, photographer, I read uh, an interview of him about four years ago in a French magazine, and he was saying he was always using uh, aperture priority because for him it was uh, uh, the aperture is what makes the artist, uh, the artistic look in the picture, so the camera can calculate. And also you can, um, as you can fool the, the ISA you can actually play with the speed anyway the way it works is very easy to switch on you open here and to the trigger is here you have to pull gently it's electromechanic so uh, if you're going to buy one make sure this works because this is where some fail actually okay you can gently press th this up like this up and that's it okay so um, I think this is a great little camera. I really recommend it. Now price are going up with this because many people want it. Uh, this is not mine, this is my father's. Uh, but actually he didn't tell me officially it was for me, but I have it, so I use it, okay? And I uh, hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's a small button down here and a small uh, bell. If you click on it, you will receive a notification when I upload a new video. My website, erigibo.com. If you have any question, you can leave a comment below. Or send me uh, an email to info at erigibo.com. Below, I also put uh, links to other parts of my channel, other sections, and also links to my gear on Amazon. 
Well, thank you. Bye.